guys in this tutorial this is going to be a two uh, series tutorial uh, and we're in the two videos i'm gonna show how we can uh, connect express or uh, not no express not js to our cluster mongodb cluster and um, once we connect we're gonna create just a simple api and we're gonna use postman if you guys haven't used postman before we'll walk through that too but um that's this is gonna be the scope of the second video and the first video we're just gonna um install the dependency and connect our connect our express um server with our cluster mongodb cluster that we created and then in the second video we're gonna use postman to um, make to um perform some queries on our server and it should return um, it should return answers fetch, fetch from our mongodb if you guys haven't seen the video on how we can create a cluster i'll leave the link below in the description uh, please go ahead and check that out if you need help creating your own cl cluster so assuming that you have created the assuming that you follow the video or you have created your own cluster before uh, what we're gonna do is now we're gonna in initiate our uh, our server we're going to create the file so first thing we're going to do is um, create the repo so for in my case i created test mongo as, as the repo go inside the repo and just do npm in it to initialize uh, but you will need npm so if you don't have that please go ahead and install that as well we're just gonna here and then package name is going to be that yes version yeah description we don't need it entry point index.js yeah sure um, the test command, nothing. This is okay. Yes. Okay. Sweet. So now we should have uh, Mongo. Um, sorry, package.json created. Um, our main file is index. So uh, we're gonna create another file called index.js. If you wanna go ahead and um, you know create your name name your file something else, just make sure you change it here. Here we're gonna go here and. Sorry, create a file and we're going to call it index.js and this is where we're going to run our server from. Um, but before that, we also need to install Express. If you haven't done that, let's do that. npm install Express and we're going to use the save option. Second dependencies is one we're going to need is the mongoose. So we're going to go ahead and do the same. Uh, npm i mongoose. Okay, there you go. So now um, that both of our dependencies are installed, we can go ahead and uh, just do them. Uh, we can go ahead and import them. So first thing we want to do is import express. So we're going to do const express require. And we'll say express. So that's good. And now we're just going to create app. We're going to say express. There you go. And lastly, we're just going to start our server. So for that, we're going to listen on port. We'll just listen on port 5000 for now. So we'll go ahead and just say app dot listen. Port, uh, port will be 5000 function. It's gonna be, we're just gonna print it out when that happens. Server listening on port 5000. Now we can go ahead and test our product. So test the server that we made. So first to do that, we're gonna have, to, we're gonna install Nodmon. So we're just gonna say, um, sorry, npm install on. and then once that's done we're gonna go to package.json and we're gonna define our script so we're gonna say uh, start it's gonna be starting the server up and then we're just gonna say node mon index 
because that's the file we want to run right now we're going to save it and then coming back to here what we're going to do is we're going to uh, call the start script so what are we going to do is npm run and then name of the script which is going to be start press enter and it says server listening on five port five thousand and that's what we were supposed to print once the server starts listening to it so that's working fine all right so now we can go ahead and uh, just create just connect it connect our server to mongoose uh, our cluster right so to do that we're going to go to the cluster um, you should have this cluster open and then um, we're just going to go to database access here and we're going to notice this db username and uh, we're going to know the pass we, we have to know the password to a db user it's it, the password is not going to be the one you have for your account it's going to be something else so we're going to go ahead and edit if you already know your password then go ahead don't worry about it but i forgot mine so i'm just going to edit mine and uh, just generate a new one so i'll just say hello one two three uh, hello one two three perfect and then i'm just going to go ahead and update user so there you go now i have a db user and the password ready so i'm just going to go back to my databases and i'm going to connect and i'm going to connect to node.js and this is the link i get so we're going to copy this link we're going to go here and we're going to use mongoose to connect so we're going to say mongoose dot connect and then we're going to paste the link you should do this there you go and then for password we're just going to replace it with hello one two three okay um uh, this of course it's uh, the password is uh, visible to anyone um if you if you want to be more secure, you can use .env file. Um, there, there, there's a lot of tutorials online on how to use .env file, so go ahead and use that. But uh, that is it, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna say since this is a um, async function, we're gonna go ahead and print out. So I'll just go ahead and do this. And then. So if this is successful, I want you to console.log saying that database connection successful. If it isn't, then I want you to catch and then I want you to print console.log error right. uh, we'll just specify what error so we'll just say data base connection error okay so now we're going to save it and our automatically should restore the server and it says database connection successful so our database connection was successful. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, create our schema for the database. So we're gonna go here, go back, close this. And go here, we're gonna go to collection. And inside collection, we will have users, or users, which are one. Um, we'll just keep it users. Whichever one um, you have collection, if you don't, then go ahead and create um, a collection on the on here. And then once that's done, we can um, connect it. So first, we need to define the schema. So we'll just say const user schema, where the schema we're gonna define. gonna be equal to and then we're gonna have the field so what are we gonna have as a field we're gonna have username right which is gonna be of type string and then we're gonna have password which is also gonna be of type string so this is what we want to extract from that uh, from from database.users this is what it's gonna have so we can go ahead and insert 
the the first name so we can say user name and we'll just say hi and then we're gonna go ahead and add password and we'll say crypto and then we're just gonna go ahead and insert perfect so now we have this structure for and then if you look at our um, user schema that structure is valid it's, it's the same and that's what we want now it's time we connect our user schema that we created here to the MongoDB. So we're going to go ahead and say define user. This is going to be the handler to our user collection, right? And how do we connect our user collection that we have on cluster to express? Well, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to, we're going to call mongoose. We're going to say model and inside of model first, we're going to define the name for name. We're just going to say user. Uh, we're, we'll keep capital and then for schema well what's the schema schema is the one we created user schema we want our um, whenever we fetch the model to be hydrated in this schema to, to basically take the format of this schema and then once we're done that we're gonna collection so what is the name of the collection well collect name of the collection is users right if you go back here the name of the collection is users so there you go and that's it we're done with the connection to mongoose now the last step to this video is to test if the connection was really successful so to do that we can we're just gonna go ahead and say user dot find one then we're gonna define over the query which we want to look so we're, we need a we need document where the username is going to be equal to hi. Once we do that, we're going to have error and uh, found item. And here we're going to say, look, if it's an error, then we'll just print error. Else console dot log. And I want you to print the found item. Okay, perfect. So once that's done, if you go back here, which our username were equal to high, it should print this document, right? So if you go here and we just save it, it's going to restart and there you go. So we have ID, uh, username and password connected. Now let's just try searching uh, for username where username is equal to buy. And it will return null. There you go. So we know that this uh, our express is connected to our um, MongoDB cluster. Now in the next video, we're going to create a, an API. We're going to create a get request for find one user. And we'll also add one more query. And we're going to use Postman to stimulate our server or to stimulate the or to invoke the get and uh, whatever other requests we put in. And it will return, um, and our MongoDB server will, will take that request, uh, give it to our mongoose, fetch the collection or data from our MongoDB cluster, and then return it to our postman. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was easy to follow along. We only had 20 line, 29 lines of code, so it wasn't much. Um, and I hope I, you guys didn't run into any additional problems. Other than that, see you guys in the next video where we're going to uh, dive more into it.